that he missed. Finds Jordan Price inside the Jarrell right. Backs his man down. Left-handed hook shot. Good. And the Explorers strike first. And here they come, folks. The Streamers. We didn't get a chance to talk to you about this, but the teams have agreed to renew a long-standing tradition between big five squads that used to play here. So the fans talk about it all the time. I'm it's the only one who says, I want to play them all here. I mean, what, a, what you have to do is what us and Temple Gibbs did. You have to give up one home game every other year to continue one of the best traditions in basketball. Uh, but, you know, we're electing not to give up that one game every other year and uh, make Temple versus LaSalle like Temple versus South Florida or like LaSalle versus Rhode Island. Two good teams, but without the venue and the split crowd and the tradition. And, and TV likes it here, too. So, uh, you know, we, we elect not to play games here, e even though I, I, I think that the atmosphere at these games is vastly superior to uh, a normal home court situation. And I think the students love it. I think the alums love it. I think the players love it. I don't know who doesn't love it, but someone doesn't love it. The place. But here's what I think. I think our effort is good. I think our players are good. I think our offense probably can't get worse. And I think we're going to have a good year. Here's a couple of history lessons. Last year at this time, St. Joe's was 4-4 four and four with losses to Temple and a large loss to Villanova. We all know what happens next. They went to the NSA tournament. Two years ago, Villanova loses three in a row by 18 at home to Columbia. Big loss against Alabama by 22 and lose at Go Arena. Three in a row, I think they're four and three, and we all know what happens next. So, hey, listen, we've lost to good teams. We can get better. I think we're going to have a terrific year. I really, really do. And there's evidence to, to base that on.